Hello and welcome to the Bride Tender Podcast. I'm your host, Esty Gordon, and I'm here to tend to the brides like I tend to the bar. So mix yourself a cocktail and let's get ready to discuss all things weddings. Today, I'm here in this wonderful state of New Jersey, took a little detour all the way to Jersey, and I'm with Amanda Crowley, who is also known as the Pearl Girl, and we are going to talk about one of my favorite topics of all time, and if you know me, you know this, it's merch. Um, I love merch. Me too. I need everything with my name on it. Me too. And if not, like, What's then the what are we doing? Exactly. exactly. Why have it? Why have it? Totally if it's agree. not personalized, it doesn't mean anything. Totally agree. So first of all, thank you so much for coming on thank today. Thank you for having me. I'm you, so excited. You look fabulous. Thank you. We are loving this jacket. Thank you. Thank um, you. Loving everything here. We're going to talk all about it. Uh, first, I want to ask you, how are you doing during everything with this pandemic, this craziness, COVID, lockdown, yes. everything we're dealing with? Wow. I mean, it is definitely strange. Uh, I never want to put clothes on or pants. This is the first time <laughs> I put makeup on in forever. Um, I actually started my business during quarantine. Um, I am a counselor, so I do work from home for the time being. Um, so during my days, I see clients throughout the day. Um, I do shoes in between and then I counsel at night. So I'm pretty busy, but I've been working through the quarantine, um, sometimes in the office, sometimes home, but I can't complain. I'm healthy, I'm safe, so that's all that really matters to me. How about absolutely, you? Absolutely. <laughs> I have been doing okay in this quarantine. I thought at some point I would have had a mental breakdown, yeah. but like <laughs> shockingly, I have held it together for the past year. Yep. And every day I wake up, it's still the twilight zone. Yeah. But the I'm same like, day over and over. Exactly. That's how I feel. Exactly. But I'm yeah. like, so far I've been okay. Yeah, so absolutely. You know, we just it's we just pray matters. for tomorrow, and yep. it's really all that you can do. And yes. and uh, things are starting to pick up. We're starting to see a little bit more normalcy. So yeah. hopefully weddings will get back to normal and hopefully. just honestly life will life. get back to oh, normal. I would love to be in a club dancing right now. Um, <laughs> I dream I, of that. I would love to just be like okay. on vacation yeah. in normal times. Yep. Like that is just what I'm dying Absolutely. for. I totally understand that. <laughs> <laughs> so now there's a few things for us to touch on. Mm -hmm. You are a bride to be. Yes. Yep. And now you started this business, which is like very much geared toward the wedding industry. Mm -hmm. However, you know, it can be used in a bunch of different yeah. arenas, a bunch of different events, or, or really just for your everyday wear if you just yeah. want something custom. But tell us a little bit about you, your wedding. Did this mm -hmm. inspire you to do this? Oh yeah. <laughs> so I'm actually getting married um, October 14th, 2022 um, in Montclair, New Jersey. Um, my fiance and I have been together for almost eight years, which is like a really long time. <laughs> um, but we are planning a wedding. We, we're taking our time and during quarantine, I was like, hey, why not do some wedding crafts? Um, this is a huge side note. I can't paint. I can't draw. I can't really do anything crafty. Um, so I was in a bride page and some girl had posted sneakers similar to mine. And I messaged her and I was like, I love those sneakers. Do you mind me asking how much you paid for them? Um, she said she ordered them and paid like a crazy amount of money. And I was like, whoa, I can't afford that, especially during quarantine. Um, so I decided why not make a pair for myself? Um, so I slowly started making a pair for myself. Um, I was posting the progress on my personal Instagram. Um, didn't really think much of it. Was just doing it to make the days go by faster. Um, I wanted to give back to the community. I didn't know how. Um, my fiance is a firefighter and like I said, I'm a mental health worker. I didn't know what to do to give back. So I decided to do a giveaway on my personal Instagram, which was so weird. Now looking back, I have like pictures of me and my fiance and then a random pair of shoes and then like out, out at the bar, it's weird. But <laughs> So I did an Instagram giveaway um, for a nurse, uh, for nurses, frontline workers, and actually a nurse won. And she just started her own business. So it was nice to see it come like full circle. Um, so after the giveaway, people kept messaging me. I was like, hey, can I place an order for sneakers? And I'm like, no, sorry, I'm not a business. Like, I don't know, what are you doing? <laughs> and then finally I was like, you know what? Let me just start a business, why not? Um, I took maybe three orders and they took me forever to do. Um, and then I was like, okay, I'll start one. And my mom and I were just talking and she was like, what would you name the business? 
And I was like, I have no idea. And I was like, the delivery driver's bringing pearls today. And I was like, he's probably like this girl and her pearls. And I was like, what about the pearl girl? Just joking. And then it stuck. So ever since then, it kind of took off and I don't know how. And it just, I'm here. So it's, I'm grateful for it. I'm blessed. And I'm so thankful for those first three brides that trusted me with their shoes. Absolutely. Yeah. I always say all it takes is one client yep. to build on, to like build your portfolio for the, yeah. for, for the future. Yeah. And I'll tell you a story. Back when I was in college, I started this little like company, like mm -hmm. when I got a DBA, like I spent like, what was that? Like 30 bucks. Yeah. And I was like, I'm so official. Yeah. <laughs> with DBA literally spent 30 dollars yes. and um it was called the candy guru mm -hmm. and I was like known as like the candy guru for like years and yeah. I did candy tables for parties and oh, I think about awesome. I think about that first party that I did mm -hmm. I literally charged like nothing yep. you know like you just maybe yeah. break even if if not yeah. lose it, yeah, you exactly. always lose I always lose and always and it's so funny how like over time you just learn and mm -hmm. you grow and I mean this this little thing that you started just as yeah. like a craft for yourself yeah. you've already seen throughout quarantine can like get so big you yeah. started the next Instagram account you did so much going yeah. on that it's it's cool to see it turn into more yeah. you know first it was a pair of shoes now we're talking about jackets we're yeah. talking about bags i mean it's grown into something i've never imagined like i said i'm a counselor full-time so to do this it was like weird and then we all all my friends keep saying we i turned like this hobby into a lifestyle like now i go places and my friends are like oh do you know she's the pro girl and they're like oh you're the pro girl i'm like yeah, why? You know me? I'm like, that's weird, okay. I was known as Amanda the counselor. Like, <laughs> I didn't think anything of it. So it really has blown up into something like I said, bigger than I ever expected, which I'm so grateful for. You know, it also goes to show in this time of a pandemic, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people have taken on different hobbies. Yes, and absolutely. you know, some people have gotten really lost throughout this time. They haven't really been sure what to do with their time, feeling yeah. lonely and to channel something into a craft or a yeah. hobby or or a business or anything and re all three yeah um, <laughs> is I mean listen it's like one of the best things that could come out it of the really pandemic. Is. absolutely I have a lot of friends who are starting to craft or do things and I'm like start a business start a business I'm like do it do it like even if it's something that you might not think won't sell I'd never thought putting pearls on shoes would sell and I'm so grateful where I'm at and every person I see that is like I might start a business I might not I don't know and I'm like do it I'm like, do just it. do it. I'm yeah. like, you got this. Just you, do it. Right. And the yeah. truth is, um, you can always start your business out small, making a very small investment, yep. especially with the luxury of having a full-time job yep. behind you. You're not like you're not stressed out as much on the money, yeah. which I had the same situation. Mm -hmm. um, I've always had a full-time job. I've done things on the side. And mm -hmm. even when I was starting this podcast, I was like, I have nothing to lose yeah. starting this podcast. Exactly. I was like, the worst case scenario is nobody listens. Yeah. I'm like, whatever. <laughs> and I was like, but I've been fortunate throughout this time to have gotten mm -hmm. some amazing guests on. Yeah, and some amazing now guests. we're, you know, we're at, um, well, when this video goes out, we're going to be at a year of the That's bride tender. Awesome. Yeah. Which is pretty crazy yeah. because I can't believe a year went by. But. I'm still processing last March. I'm like not over last March, so I don't know how we yeah, got well, here. Yeah, well, it was pretty traumatizing. <laughs> Absolutely. It was, it was pretty traumatizing. Absolutely. That's so funny. And now, you know, we're getting back into wedding season. Um, yes. Things are gearing back up. You're in New Jersey. I'm mm -hmm. in New York. We kind of have similar guidelines. Yep. But now, do you think that sales are picking up because more people are getting married now mm -hmm. that we're about to enter into that prime season of weddings? Um... Yes and no. I feel like I did luck out a lot with the girls rescheduling weddings because some people were in backyards and really didn't want to use, you know, a pair of their Louboutins in their backyards, which I completely understand. Yep. Um, so I think it's pretty much the same. A lot of people are now doing like shoes and a jacket or shoes and a bag, or if they ordered shoes for their wedding, they're coming back for a bag for their honeymoon. So right. um, it's definitely interesting. And I like to be transparent with my customers for those who did have to reschedule. Um, like the pair of shoes here is for a bride and her flower girl. And I said, girl, 
the flower girl's not gonna fit in these by next year. And she was like, That's oh, don't worry, I'll buy a new pair. And I was like, no, like, don't worry about it. I was like, it's not your fault that there's a, I hope it's not your fault that there's a pandemic, <laughs> but don't worry. Like, I like to be transparent with them, like, just to let you know, if you're ordering shoes for the future, like be aware of the shoe sizes. If you're ordering for other people, just to be mindful that things do change, obviously this pandemic in a drop of a pin. So I just like to be transparent about that. So I think sales have been somewhat the same. Um, definitely a lot more followers coming in and like, hey, I'm getting married in September. When should I place my order? I'm like, no, um, <laughs> I'm in person. So it's a lot, of, a lot of girls coming in for like the future ones, which is good. And it's exciting because so many people have been waiting for this moment and so many people have postponed that finally they can do this. So yeah. it's exciting. So now when it comes down to ordering, mm -hmm. how far in advance should someone order something? Mm -hmm. Whether it's a jacket, shoes, bag, yeah. you could give different timelines on each, yeah. whatever you think, um, you know, they should get in touch with you. Yeah, so um, I typically say for shoes about two months. When I first started, I was saying two weeks and now it is definitely not two weeks. Um, I say about two months for your shoes if a rush order was needed. I could do that with an additional fee. Um, so a rush order I can get done within about two weeks. Um, a jacket, I'd say, give me about two weeks. Those don't really take me as much time as the shoes. Um, and a bag, probably two weeks at the same. Um, typically, like these pair of shoes right here, they took me four days. <laughs> so the pearl shoes don't take me as long as they used to because I've kind of gotten the flow with it, but um, definitely two months for the shoes if needed. Um, I could do a rush order and I'm crazy for that, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I Trust me, I hear you. Yeah. But listen, for those rush orders, yeah. you charge a rush fee. I know. <laughs> listen, I know. our brides-to-be, yes. um, if you want rush service, you're going to pay for rush service. Mm -hmm. Here at the Bride Tender, like I'm not trying to sugarcoat it for you, you know, in order to get that kind of service, you will be paying a premium. Mm -hmm. That's just it's, what it is. So if you don't want to pay for that rush fee, get it going a little order bit early. earlier on your timeline. Please order early. <laughs> yes, order early. It's only going to be less of a headache for you, mm -hmm. for your vendor, and honestly, yes. just for your life. Yeah, absolutely. Because then you won't have to worry about like, is it going to be shipped in time? Is it going to get here absolutely. in time? The postal service during the holiday season was oh, just crazy. I know. So. Yeah. <sighs> It's just place the order. Place your order early. Place your order early. Please. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I don't want to stay up till 4 a.m. <laughs> yeah. We're not messing around. With yeah. That. You exactly. guys got all this time. You're calling all of your vendors. You're planning your wedding. Mm -hmm. You know, you can make it happen. Yes. Absolutely. And that's that. Absolutely. <laughs> I thank you for that. Uh, yeah. I know. We, we keep it real over here. I've yes. been in the wedding industry a good portion of my life. Yeah. And you know what? when it comes down to booking vendors, booking your venue, mm -hmm. anything like that, it does take time yeah. and it takes organization and getting a budget together and everything Absolutely. like that. Yeah. And you know, like nothing, nothing comes cheap, yeah. especially last minute. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> nothing pretty comes cheap last minute. Exactly. That too. <laughs> exactly. Something I wanted to ask you because now do you, provide like buying the items for the client mm -hmm. or would you prefer they come to you with the item to yeah it, that is the first question everybody asks me um which is a really valid question um so i do give the option of doing a non-authentic converse so this is actually this one um That's and this one yes yep oh. so it I, does I, look it's just identical like and i swear by them just they are like it. so comfortable they're such good material i swear by them um or they could do vans, which is these right here. Um, or they could do non-authentic vans, um, which is these. So they're pretty much identical. Yeah, um, they look like the same. If the customer doesn't feel comfortable, I mean, these are their shoes for their wedding. These are big moment shoes that you're trusting me with. So if you don't feel comfortable judging your size, so I'm open to people sending me shoes. They have to be new. I'm not taking any old shoes. Uh, no, exactly. No old here. shoes, no like used shoes. Brand new shoes, please send them to me. I'm open to anything. Like I said, these are the most important shoes on your most important day in your I would life. say <laughs> that it would actually probably make more sense mm -hmm. for 
I mean, a jacket, you know, basically we could go off yeah. size. But when it comes down to shoes, yeah. they're not trying on the shoe for the client. Yeah, so exactly. So basically, they should see what fits them yeah. and then send it over Absolutely. to you. Because then they know it, mm -hmm. it will never be a wrong size. Yes. And they want to be comfortable in them as well. So most brides are cool with me ordering shoes. Some are a little nervous, which I totally understand why you're nervous. Um, mm -hmm. So it can go either way. If they want me to order it, I can order it. Um, if they want to send it to me, it's a small discount when they send it to me. I'm not going to overcharge you for a designer shoe or a non-authentic shoe. My prices are like flat fee. So I'm not in it to, you know, <laughs> you know make you go broke. <laughs> Hey, well, listen, that's that's a really nice thing to hear. And it's, yes. it's good because this is, even though this is a business, mm -hmm. um, it's also very much like a hobby for you yeah. and you enjoy it I and you have it. fun. Yep. And, you know, I always say I'm, I'm a pretty crafty person myself. Yes. And I'm jealous because I'm not. <laughs> Without this, I'm not. <laughs> well, I mean, you mastered the Cricut machine and yeah. I've had one for embarrassingly long too <laughs> long to, for me to even announce YouTube. on this yeah and i just like i need help i said i'm 29 mm -hmm. but i said i need to like hire like a 22 year old who can help me with reels who can help me yes. with the cricket machine I, who can, like i'm yep. not creating a TikTok. i'm too old nope, for that okay. it's out like I, I can't do that but like when it comes down to like reels mm -hmm. i'm like I need a, I need like a young girl I know. to help me, too. me because I always thought I was the young girl yep. and now I'm realizing I am no longer the young girl. Yep. I am, <laughs> so. if you ask any of my friends and family, I'm ancient with social media. So I'll be like going to make an Instagram post and like it'll zoom just in on the laces and I'll text my friend, I'm like, what's going on? And she was like, I don't know, you probably need to like crop it, this, that, whatever. And I was like, I'm gonna let you sign into my Instagram and just post it for me because I don't know what I'm doing. and. Oh, social well, media social media is a full-time job. That's I was just going to say that. <laughs> it's a it's a whole other animal. Yes. Like even with doing this podcast, I'm like, okay, so I make the other I make the Instagram account for yep. it and then like I'm like posting all yeah. the time about it and then I'm like doing Instagram stories and then I'm just like yep. This is a whole other yeah. job that yeah. I have to do yeah. for something and I, I'm like we we just need these like little like young like, like like late teenagers yeah. early 20s who can help us out with these yes. with these they, they're quick with it too they're like, so quick I they know am, these reels they yeah. do them fast and I'm like I, don't I know just know. need to get reels yeah. down I just yes. who can help me I do Please this help me. I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> we're both here to hire you yes, just please. whoever you are please <laughs> exactly <laughs> So funny. At least I'm not alone. Oh that's my God. So I always cool. think I'm alone. And then I talk to other people and they're like, yeah. oh, I have no idea to do it. Can you show me? No I was idea. like, you don't want me to show you anything. I have no <laughs> yes. clue what I'm doing. Yep. I'm the same way. It's <laughs> <laughs> so funny. So now, you know, you have all of this going on. You have a full-time job. You have a wedding that you're planning. Yes. Um, what should we expect from you? What, what, what do you have coming up with the business? What should we look out for? Um, Anything you think? I know you work with a lot of different vendors now. Yes. It looks like you've yep. created this network. Yeah. Like, look at you. You're a wedding industry professional. I know. Like, how you weird didn't is even that? know. And yeah. now, like, look, Not you're on the Bride Tender podcast. You're you're in the wedding industry. Yeah. You're in like the the counseling industry. Yeah, I mean, I'm just everywhere. There, there's nothing you can do. You're rocking yes. this jacket. Thank I mean, you. <laughs> you got it all going on. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Growing, just keep growing and creating more things and collaborating with different vendors. Um, my biggest thing is making a team, having a network of other people who are also in small businesses, even if it's not doing jean jackets or doing shoes, somebody making candles or somebody making signs or t-shirts or something. Mm -hmm. They understand what you're going through and they understand it's, it's tough. It's tough to do it. it is. Um, I'm definitely going to be releasing more things, um, a lot of nice, fun, exciting things with bling and pearls and personalizations. Um, so a lot to come, a lot of secrets I want to expose and I want to do it every day. I'm just like, you know what, I just, I'm going to post it. I'm just going to release it. And then I'm like, oh, I released something last week. I can't do that. So <laughs> a lot of new items, merchandise, different sneakers. Um, and also if there's any brides out there who don't see a sneaker on my page that they want, I offered a uh, complimentary Zoom for brides to completely do their shoes however they want, if they want names, if they want any color, gems, pearls, 
whatever they're open to, let's do it. Let's pearl it, let's throw it on a shoe, jam it, whatever. <laughs> it's, exactly. That's what I'm open we're, to. We're custom over yes. here. And we're open, Everything. we're open to, you know, we're open to ideas. Yeah, I'm open to anything. I'm really not. I'm and really not something I'll tell you, you know, just like business woman to business yeah. woman, wedding industry professional to wedding industry professional, so <laughs> is that <laughs> um, you, are only as strong as the people that you surround yourself with. Absolutely. And part of the the blessing about being in this industry is that you're around creatives at all times oh, yeah. who want to help you when it comes to leveling up. Mm -hmm. So, you know, obviously if there's any way I can help you yes, because absolutely. like now now, you know, we're here, we're doing this. Yes. This is going to be the first of probably a few videos, I'm sure over time. Yep. You're going to grow. The podcast is going to get bigger. Absolutely. We're going we're going to go nationwide, I'm yeah. sure soon. Yep. Um, Watch out Aruba, we're coming. <laughs> we're we're coming. And listen, after this pandemic, we could really use a vacation. Yeah, so like absolutely. if anybody in Aruba, nice if Aruba Bahamas, if you're looking for like like wedding yeah. industry professionals to come and shoot at your at your venue like we're Call here me. we're I'm here coming. we're here <laughs> you want to offer us an all expensive like all expense <laughs> not expensive Please all expense expensive. paid trip yeah. To the Bahamas, like we're there, Please. we're there. Bling, <laughs> glitz, glam, everything glam. is included. I'm yeah. coming. We're coming. Bells we're coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Call me now. <laughs> and of course, this is my jacket, so we want everybody to see. Yes. This was made specifically for me with the big pearls and the big gemstones and the signature purple the that says tender? the bride tender because you know, like it's very on brand yes. with who I am. You have to have it. Have Absolutely. to have it. Yes. I mean, I was so surprised to see when you did it in purple, and then yes. I was just like, she so gets me. Yes, she I just get me. you. I saw you, the purple dress you, on your reel. Uh, oh, and I was like, my one. Uh, reel? Yes, your one reel. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, glitter purple. Absolutely, she's, that's perfect. She's got me down to a science. This I is do. what I'm talking about. You thought that you weren't crafty, I but know. you're creative. I know, and mm -hmm. it's weird. It comes at random times. I I don't sleep, so <laughs> the three seconds of sleep I get, I'm like, ooh, 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 ooh. I'm like pushing my fiance table. I'm like, where's my phone? Where's my phone? Oh, uh, I'm like, yeah. I have to write this down in the shower. Probably a lot of people, or yeah. I'll be driving and I'm like dazing out. And I'm like, ooh. Ooh, that was a good one. And it's like Hannah Montana or something playing in the background. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I gotta write that down. I'm like, that's a good one. And it's just so many like pieces of paper and napkins and notes in my phone or text messages. Like I'll text my friend and be like, bling shoe. Remember this, don't delete it. And they're like, what? I'm like, just, I know what I'm saying. I'm like, just <laughs> You're like, you were, me. The you were the first text up when I yeah. went to go text yes. it. Now that's what it is. Exactly. You, you're in charge of holding on to the note yep. until I'm ready. Exactly. Right. Until I'm ready to release it. It's. It's funny because all my friends now, I call it pearling. I'm like, can't talk, I'm pearling, wet glue, this, that. So <laughs> I my love it. vocabulary has changed. It's a verb. Now. Yeah. That's what it is. Pearling. And everybody knows it. And there's pearls everywhere. And we're just going to rock with it. Um, it. What can you tell us? Even though I know your wedding is like kind of far off mm -hmm. and we're not going to like give away all the secrets, but I'm assuming that you will be pearling some stuff for your wedding. Oh, yes. Oh, boy. Everything. So these shoes and everything in the company the jacket the everything represents me i'm very extra glitz glam it's just who i am um growing up i was always like that i was a cheerleader so we were always in spotlight and tans and glitz and i love it and my wedding planning oh everything beyond tens it's probably like 12s <laughs> like 20s like everything is I love over it. the top jersey big Italian wedding and glitz and glam and my bridesmaids already know like everything will be head to toe pearl girl and head to toe gems and extraness and I love it and I love it love it because in my counseling I'm very reserved um nobody even knows my last name nobody knows I own a business and then I go to pearl girl I'm like sparkles glitter this that like fireworks <laughs> extra 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 and then I go like into my counseling sessions and I'm like Hi, like I'm Amanda, like very, like I'm too, I, my coworkers call me Hannah Montana because I live two different lives, which is awesome. I love it. So it's so fun. Mm -hmm. It's so fun to have that creative outlet. Yeah. Because when you work such a serious job, yeah. um, you need that time I need to, an outlet. Uh, you know, yeah. release. I always say, I work in like the crazy universe of weddings where it's busy yes. and it's go and I'm on the go all the time. Yep. And I've become over time where like 
when I'm home at night, like mm -hmm. I just feel like sometimes like I'm a potato. Yep. Because like my <laughs> yes. brain has like taken yep. everything in all day. And you know, then I go to bed and of course a million ideas come yep. to me and you know, your phone's next to you and yep. it's like, and this is why we don't sleep at night. Exactly. Yeah. I don't sleep. I yeah. don't know what that is. I, I don't yeah, know. It's, I just either. can't, after a crazy day of work and then I go and start doing the shoes and I'll be doing the shoes and I'm like, oh, I gotta, I gotta release this. Oh, I gotta do this. I gotta do that. And, it's and it like, probably relaxes yeah, you to like so have relaxing. that time to just like in front of the TV. Yep. I mean, I know me, I gotta have my real housewives on oh, and then I yes. got like a project yep. going. Yep. Yeah. And then the glass of wine and maybe some popcorn breaks here oh, and yeah. there. Oh yeah. Oh, I always need a snack. Yes. So don't worry. Absolutely. I totally understand. It's so relaxing, but so... I love it. It's so worth it. <laughs> and and now it's like, I mean, this hobby's taken off so yeah. that other people get to enjoy this. Yes, I love it. And I message my brides all the time. Like I, one of my brides had announced that she was pregnant. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so excited for you. And I'm like, even though I never met you in person, like <laughs> you wore my shoes on your wedding day, which is the biggest moment of your life. And now you're pregnant. I'm like, oh my God, I'm emotional. And I'm like, I don't even know we're a person. I'm like, mm -hmm. we're, like, we're like, what are we beating for you? Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm like, okay, okay you're having a baby. <laughs> Let's have glitz and glam. Come on. A hundred percent. We're like, even if it's a boy. Yes, we're glamming exactly. it all anyway. <laughs> exactly. It's nice to have that relationship with these customers as well and being able to chat with them, ask them how their wedding was, have them take pictures and send them to me. And um, I have a lot of um, clients who are also clients, customers <laughs> who are um, counselors as well. So it's like nice to let them know like, hey, there is a face behind the brand and she's actually a counselor and let me know if you need any counseling tips and whatever. So it's very nice having that personal relationship with them as well. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and then you see once you have a customer, mm -hmm. um, you end up having that customer for life. Yes. You know, they have kids and yep. then those kids wear stuff. You know, yep. we have communions, bar mitzvahs, sweet yeah. sixteens. So yeah. it's really just the beginning for you. Yeah. I'm like in their family. And I have mm -hmm. I've had people order shoes from me and then their sisters would order jackets and then they'd come back and order tumblers and then they'd order shoes for their sister who got married. And I'm like, I'm in your family. Like, can yep. I come to Christmas or something? Like, <laughs> am I gonna get an invite to the wedding? Because I'm like in your family now. And it's so true. I love it. I love that personal feeling with them that I could be like, hey guys, let's get drinks. Like, yeah. it's no, awesome. It's true. Yeah. I, I said this um, story to a few people, but working in the wedding industry, I'm mm -hmm. so used to like meeting with brides. And during yeah. this time of the pandemic, I'm used to like shaking hands and hugging all the time. Yeah. And now like, any of my friends who watch this will be like laughing because they'll be like, I'm not like the warmest and fuzziest yeah. of all people. But in my industry, I'm so used to that. Mm -hmm. And we're living in this time where it's like, there's no like physical touch. Yeah, it's weird. And it's weird. It's really yeah. weird. So I like can't wait for the day to go back. I never thought I'd be like, I can't wait to go back to hugging I know. <laughs> can't wait to go I've, back to work. I've become, I've become yeah. this person where I'm like, I just can't wait to like be able to like, in my work environment, shake hands, mm -hmm. hug, especially when you're dealing with brides and grooms yeah. and their happiest day of their life. And yeah, yeah, it really is the biggest moment of their lives. And like I, some, I was doing deliveries and I'd be like, okay, I'm leaving it on your porch. And I'm like waving from the window. I'm like, hi, I'm the pearl girl. I'm like, this is sad. <laughs> I want to like hug you and talk yeah. to you for a couple minutes, but it's tough definitely with COVID and not being able to do that. But we yeah. make it work. Yeah. Well, well, hopefully we'll have full normal so yes. soon. And soon. Uh, yeah, and we'll all be, we'll just be hugging everyone. Yeah. Everyone. <laughs> Literally, the next podcast after COVID, everybody's just going to be hugging. Everybody's going to be hugging. <laughs> so oh funny. my God. Yes, if only. Yes. Never thought dream. we'd be saying things like that, yeah. but it's true. Yeah, it really is. It's weird. <laughs> weird times. It's always, I always say that. It just is weird. weird times. <laughs> so. Where can everybody follow you to like check out your work, get in touch with you about placing an order and kind of share their ideas with you about like what some items that they want for their day? Yeah. Um, so my Instagram is at the pearl underscore girl. It's G-U-R-L, not G-I-R-L. It's a little different. <laughs> um, and then I also have a Facebook page. It's the pearl girl as well. And there's a link in my bio where you can put your order in. Um, and I also DM me. I love to hear from you. I love to hear when your weddings are, what your wedding themes are, styles. Um, so if you guys DM me, if you don't see something on my page, please let me know. I'm totally open to crafting or making something for your vision. Um, after they place the order, I do confirm details with them over an email. And like I said, I offer a 10 minute complimentary zoom to brides or pretty much anybody who wants to create and design their own shoe. 
So the Pearl Girl at the Pearl Girl on Instagram and the Pearl Girl on Facebook. Perfect. Yes. Everybody, I mean, you have to go follow the Pearl Girl. Place your orders. Uh, wedding season, holiday season, mm -hmm. Mother's Day is coming up. You might oh, want to yeah. get something for your mom. We have some good Mother's Day you know, things coming. I mean, we can go on to 4th of July and do oh, red, yeah. white, and blue over here. I mean, we it's, have water bottles. I mean, red, white, and blue ones. That, that's <laughs> what I'm talking about. I mean, listen, we're not just limited to weddings, mm -hmm. but of course, it's a wedding podcast. So, yeah. like, we're here to just, like, slide that right in, Absolutely. you know? Absolutely. <laughs> I love it. Let's be extra and glam and gem everything for every yep. holiday. Why not? Every holiday, every day of the week. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody needs a little sparkle. Ex absolutely. That's what, that's what they need. Yeah. You can never be too extra or overdressed. You can never be too extra or yes. overdressed. Over here, like, <laughs> Take we, it from us. We're, on the, yes. we're on the same page. Yes. Um, absolutely. Yeah. You, you, can't, you, you can't be too much. No. There's no such thing. Mm -mm. Never heard of it. Never will. <laughs> <laughs> well, Amanda, I have had yes, so much fun me today. Too. Thank I'm you so, so much. glad that we did this. Me too. We're here at Studio Your Space in New Jersey. Um, yes, I am in New Jersey today. Yes. I'm a Jersey She's girl. She's a Jersey girl today. <laughs> and, you know, bringing out my pearls. Yep. Soon I'm going to be putting on my jacket for all of you to see. Yes, can't and, wait. Um, and I look forward to the future being very bright wait. and for the business growing yes. and to do more of these things together yeah. and you know and then maybe like one day when I get married so you'll like to okay all right yeah you, we'll talk yeah. you know <laughs> you got my number girl exactly <laughs> Everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of the Bride Tender Podcast, where we put out a new episode every single Monday. If you're not already following me on Instagram, make sure to follow me at the Bride Tender for all fun facts on the wedding industry, ways to save money on your special day, and of course, hiring the best in the business for your wedding. Make sure to go follow Amanda at The Pearl Girl. Let her customize some stuff for your special day. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Oh, that. thank you for coming on. Absolutely. It's been fun. Yes. <laughs> Until next time, mix yourself a cocktail, slide into my DMs with questions you want answered on all things weddings. Stay sane, stay healthy, and we'll catch you next week. Bye.